Hi, my name is Katarina and I'm going to tell you about our insights on the streaming of VR games. Today, watching others play on streaming platforms such as Twitch is a common spare time activity. Typically, streamers just broadcast the game view, sometimes accompanied by a small video footage of themselves. So the focus is clearly on the in-game events. However, when it comes to virtual reality games, the immersive full-body interaction is a crucial part of the player experience. And this interplay of the player's real-life movements and the game environment is not sufficiently conveyed by the traditional streaming setup. So this is why some streamers switch to a mixed reality third-person perspective. They blend themselves directly into the game environment. And this way, spectators can see the player's movement directly in the context of the game. So, we asked ourselves, which perspective is better for the streaming of VR games? And we wanted to compare the first-person perspective and the mixed-reality third-person perspective in terms of the viewing experience, in order to find the pros and cons of both approaches. And we conducted an online survey in which we asked participants to watch and rate two gameplay videos of the same game, one for each perspective and in randomized order. And um, we asked about enjoyment, involvement, comprehensibility and focus. And in the end, we wanted to know which perspective our participants would prefer and why. In the study, we included three different games of different genres because we also wanted to investigate whether the choice of perspective is dependent on certain game characteristics. The first game we used was Beat Saber, a music-based VR game in which the player has to cut blocks with lightsabers. The second game was Super Hot VR. The unique twist of this game is that the time progresses only at the speed in which the player moves. And the third game was Standout VR Battle Royale, a first-person shooter in which the player plays online against a large group of other players. The three games differ mainly concerning pace, focus and locomotion extent. We assume that these characteristics can potentially influence the spectator's experience in the two perspectives under investigation. The results of our study confirm this. There is a clear preference for the first-person perspective in the Standout and the Super Hot groups, the votes in the Beat Saber group are almost evenly distributed. This difference between games is also reflected in the measured experience of our participants. The first-person perspective was rated significantly better in terms of enjoyment, involvement, focus and comprehensibility in the standout group. In contrast, in the Beat Saber group there were no significant differences except from involvement. When we have a look at the reasons why participants preferred one perspective over the other, many participants mentioned involvement as an advantage of the first-person perspective. They reported that this perspective made them feel like being part of the game or even being the players themselves. Some participants also pointed out that the focus was better in the first-person perspective, so that they were able to see important things of the game, such as enemies approaching from the distance. On the other hand, some participants prefer the third-person perspective due to some motion sickness issues in the first-person perspective. The most frequently mentioned advantage of the third-person perspective was that participants simply enjoyed to see the player and his movements. They reported that it was more interesting to see and comprehend the interaction between the player and the game environment. On the other hand, other participants perceived the player as being occluding and therefore obstructive. In conclusion, our results indicate that the choice of an appropriate perspective is dependent on the particular game and the expectation of the audience. So, we assume that the key difference between the three games we use in our study is the visual coupling of the main game events and the player's position and movements. So, in games like Beat Saber, all relevant game events are centered directly around the player. In contrast, in games like Standout, the focus is not that fixed, and many game events evolve in the wider surroundings of the player, such as enemies approaching from the side. So in this case, the first-person perspective seems more appropriate because it better guides the focus of the spectators towards the important game events. So for now, Thank you for your attention and please refer to the paper for a detailed report of our data.